Okay, so NVIDIA cancels some cards. That's kind of strange. Plus, there are a lot of new leaks about Big Navi that are looking pretty doggone good. So, like usual, let's talk tech. Are you looking for a code for your favorite game? Or maybe you need a new Windows 10 key, but don't want to spend a lot of money? Here's your chance to get the best deals online at CD Key Sales. Game codes are as low as $10 and Windows keys are under 15. And right now, you can save an additional 18% by using the code TT18 during checkout. Buying has also never been easier. Just create your account, select the items that you want, put in the discount code and complete checkout. All of your purchases will be in your account ASAP and all the keys and codes are guaranteed to authorize without a problem. So save big today and buy with confidence with CD Key Sales. So check this out tech fans. NVIDIA, it seems, has canceled two of their cards, which just seems kind of strange because I really haven't really seen NVIDIA too many times in the past, you know, kill the cat before it's even out of the bag, but it seems like apparently they have done so. It looks like we're not going to see a 20 gigabyte version of the RTX 3080, and we're not gonna see a 16 gigabyte version of the RTX 3070. Now. Some people have speculated, and this probably does have something to do with it, is that the memory that is used on the 3080 is a different type of memory than the 3070. It runs a lot of money, and you can honestly see with the price difference between the RTX 3090 being at $1,500 from a, you know, a card that's like much, much lower in price range, that memory is probably a key factor in what's going on because NVIDIA probably looked at these products and was like, okay, well, you know, we're not gonna be able to make a lot of profit or be able to sell these at a decent enough price right now to make them appealing to the market. Now, for gaming, we've already seen that 20 gigabytes just doesn't really do jack diddly shit for you because the RTX 3090, which even though isn't geared for gaming, people are still gonna freaking use that damn thing for gaming and say, well, it didn't do better. Well, it really wasn't supposed to do better in gaming, but that's another thing. But here's the thing. The RTX 3070 uses a different type of memory. So why they've gotten rid of that, I'm not sure. Now, 16 gigabytes seems like it's going to be a good thing because you know that's where AMD is going to have their cards at. They're gonna have a card at 16 gigabytes. So hopefully we'll see if the 10 gigabytes that's you know on the RTX, you know, will will you know be able to really compete across the board with this, but only time will tell. It just to me seems really strange that NVIDIA would actually just outright cancel these cards. Now, maybe we're going to see a 3080 Ti now. You know, I really didn't think they were going to do that again, but hey, it's possible. I mean, one day it's super, one day it's TI. God only knows what it'll be next week, but you know, who knows? It seems like, you know, right now, super and TI, I thought were kind of the same thing, but you know, maybe there are some slight differences, you know, we're just not all, you know, apparently, you know, aware of, but I mean, to me, the, TI series and the Super Series were kind of the same thing. So I don't really know what's going on there, but it does seem that Nvidia has canceled these cards as of now. Now, on the other side of the coin, there have been a lot of new leaks about Big Navi, especially around the 6800 XT. Been a, a lot of stuff that's been coming out and in some people's scores, they show that the card is actually beating the 3080 on other people's scores, you know, they show that it's not quite beating it. But what's really relevant to note, regardless of anything, is that as long as these, you know, even if these are just like early test scores and stuff, that actually, you know, bodes pretty well for AMD because that means they're going to be very competitive with the 3000 series from NVIDIA. And the thing that's going to really, I think, boil down to, especially around this holiday season when sales come, is availability. That's really going to be, be the big, big, big thing. I mean, hopefully when the RTX 3070 comes out next week, you know, hopefully there'll actually be stock 
for people to buy these cards. And I really think that the, you know, the $500 price market right now is gonna become the very, very hot spot for video cards. You know, I know some people are gonna go, hey man, you can buy a whole console for 500 bucks. Well, go buy your console, that's up to you. But for gamers who want you know, a really good gaming card, it seems like the $500 range is going to be the very, very you know, super duper hot spot. Now, AMD also has had some leaks. It seems like about the 6900 XT, that'll probably compete with the RTX 3090, but there's really not a lot really circulating around about that. I don't think people even have any samples of that. So pretty much if you're seeing somebody saying they have test results of that, eh, it's probably just BS. But both video cards and Igor's lab have shown some different stuff. There's also some other people around the internet who have also shown leaks. Um, some of these people have shown leaks in the past that have actually panned out to be pretty true. So even though I always say to take everything with a grain of salt, these things probably are really going to be centered around that these new cards from AMD are going to be very competitive against Nvidia. It's going to be a very competitive market and that's absolutely great. That gives me a smile on my face and two thumbs up because a level playing field, that will be something very interesting. And if AMD can bring to the table, video cards that are totally competing with Nvidia. <laughs> I mean, honestly, AMD, as long as they have stock, could probably even charge more money. So you could see for the first time ever in history that all of a sudden Nvidia becomes the budget card. <laughs> but it could happen. I mean, you guys know things change. Shit <laughs> could happen. I mean, but wouldn't that be really crazy if all of a sudden the market around Christmas time develops into AMD's card may not be the absolute fastest on the market, but it's still fast enough. It's a little bit more expensive, but guess what? It's available. Because if it's available, you know, it's the holiday season. People are going to want to spend their money. They've been saving their money. People have been going, okay, right on, man. Let's see what AMD can bring to the table. So with all the excitement really around the AMD launch, I mean, I would have to say that, you know, people have really felt that these last RTX 3000 launches in a lot of ways were kind of ho-hum. I mean, a lot of people feel that way. I don't feel that way. I feel that really what Nvidia did was just fix all the problems that they had in the previous generation card and bring these cards out and fix all those problems. That's what they did, you know? Now, do people pay for that R&D through paying the high price for the cards? Probably, but that's irrelevant. It's in the past, and this is now. So here's what it is, folks. NVIDIA has canceled two of their cards. No 20 gigabyte RTX 3080. And no 16 gigabyte RTX 3070. So that's that. Got to deal with it. But from everything that we're seeing, it's honestly looking like the series cards from AMD that are coming out, the 6800 XT, Big Navi, we've been hearing these rumors and hype for so long that I'm honestly really just like, all right, let's get this shit over with and let's see what the heck you've got to bring to the table. And we're almost there. The 28th is almost upon us. So on that day, we will find out the facts. I'm sure the reviews will be hitting the market. I don't get samples from AMD, so when the cards come out, I'll have to go out and buy one when they come available on the market. Hence, I hope there is availability so I can buy one to bring in here and test for you guys. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I got some other videos coming up. I'll explain to you guys in another video why SLI and Crossfire really died and why NVIDIA doesn't even want to support it. Neither does AMD. They're just ready to just, like, just let it go. I mean, it was never really a good thing anyways, but we'll talk about that in another video. So if you guys like what you've seen on the channel, hey, subscribe, but make sure you hit that notification bell or you'll never know what's going on on the channel. Also, there are a lot of cool new programs that have just come out on Amazon Prime. So if you guys want to check those programs out for free for 30 days, don't pay any money, just binge watch. I'll have a link down below. It'll help keep me around. It won't cost you guys a penny and we all win. So we'll see you guys back here for more tech. Peace out. I'm telling you, the holiday season, it's looking pretty exciting. <laughs>